Hello my dear students I am back with another video that is part 3 for the lesson Poonam's day out in the subject environmental studies At the end of this video you will be able to list down the animals and their place of living describe different places of living in your own words you will be able to develop a feeling of not taming animals as they do need freedom like us before learning something new let us revise what we have learned in part 2 here i have given you five animals and their sound is given in another column you have to write the correct number for example the first picture is of frog so can you see where its sound is given number 3 that is croak so you can simply match it also or you can write the name of the animal and the sound in your notebook and do it in the form of matching my dear students are you full of energy that's great so let us begin today's lesson with some fun activity you have to take one origami sheet and follow the steps as given in the screen and when you reach step number 8 you will be having a small paper house after making the house write with the sketch pen my home on the top of it children you must be wondering that why we did origami house activity today let me tell you the answer we did that because today we are going to learn about animals and their home now in this picture what can you see a big tree do you remember the word which means big i told you in the part 1 of the of this lesson can you tell me it is huge correct h u g e huge huge means big but in this tree we can see many animals let's name them all first we have bees crow monkey parrot squirrel and snake but children i want you to observe the position of the animals can you see the birds like crow and parrot are at the top of the tree crow is sitting in its nest parrot is on the branch little squirrel is jumping on the branch of the tree look at the naughty monkey it is jumping from here and there and look at the buzzing bees but what is that around the bee something which is brown in color it is a bee hive bee hive is a place where bees live and they make it on the branch of a tree we have a snake also snake is coming out of the tree hole and you if you look above the snake you can see little small ants going above the tree look how they are crawling tree gives a space to everybody look how animals are there on the tree now i have a small activity for you all just now you have observed many animals on the tree now you know where they live name the animals which can be seen on the branches for example you can write crow parrot bees 
etc. Similarly, you have to write the name of the animals which can be seen on the leaves, on the trunk, on the ground, around the tree. Look at the pictures given below. Color the animals that do not live in your house. Children, in this picture, many animals are given. If you have your book with you, you can do this activity in your book. But if you do not have it with you, nothing to worry. Simply take your notebook and write down the names of those animals that do not live in your house. For example, dog. Can dog live in our houses? Yes, so we will not write its name. But what about elephant? Can you keep elephant with you in your house? No, because elephant is so big and elephant is a wild animal. So you will write the name of the animal elephant. Similarly, horse. You cannot keep horse in your house. So you will write its name as well. We have seen the animals living on a tree. Animals that we cannot keep in our houses. But what about the other animals? Where do the other animals live? We don't know. Let's find out through a song. Children, dear children, where do we live? We live in our houses, joyful and happy. I hope you all have enjoyed the song. Now let's talk about lion. Lion lives in a den. Lion is a wild animal. So we can find den in the forest. What about little mouse? Mouse lives in a hole. I know you must have watched a famous cartoon Tom and Jerry. Right? Jerry is a small mouse in that cartoon. Where does it live? In the hole. Children, look at the first animal. It is looking very white, very soft. But who is it? It is a rabbit. But where is it going? Rabbit is going down under the ground. Because rabbit lives in a burrow. Spell it out with me. B U R R O W. It is a new word for you all. So learn it nicely. Rabbit lives in a burrow. What about bees? We have seen the beehive in the picture on the tree. Bees live in a beehive. And do you know children, from beehive only, we get the honey. Do you know children, ants are very hard working. You can see in the picture, the little ants have made a small hill. They are very hard working and very powerful. Ants live in ant hill. They make the ant hill on the ground, generally near the trees. What about hen? Hen lives in a coop. C O O P coop. But you will say that ma'am, it is a house. No children, it is not a house, but it looks like a house. Coop is a place where so many hens can live together. It is a home for the hens. Horse lives in a stable. It is again a shed-like structure. On the top, it has a roof and various partitions are made in it. In every partition, one horse can live. 
dog lives in a kennel generally we call it a dog house but it is called kennel children do you remember the story three little pigs you have done it in your class 1 here we have all the three pigs sonu monu and gonu look how they are playing in the mud because pigs live in mud that muddy area is called sty fencing is done around the muddy area so we can say pig lives in sty what about birds we all know that birds live in nest birds are also very hard working they make their nest on their own they collect dry leaves twigs threads hair from their surrounding and they build their nest on the branch of a tree on their own so we can say birds live in nest children i am little confused here four animals are given in the picture and their homes are also given i don't know which animal will go where will you help me okay first animal that we have is spider i am scared of spider where should i put the spider cobweb correct spiders make webs thank you for helping me children so the spider will go to the web second animal we have a bird mm where will we put the bird oh yes on the branch of a tree in the nest i like the third animal look it's a smiling it is a honey bee and i know where it will go honey bee will go in the bee hive and the last one is easy now we have little ant and we have a small hill around the tree so ant will go to the ant hill yay we did it all together thank you children you can also do such kind of activity in your notebook these animals have lost their way now we have to help them to reach their homes let's do it together first animal is horse where will horse go in the stable second is cat cat will go to the basket right third is a cow where will cow go in the coop no in the kennel no cow will go to the barn then we have the lost duck children i told you before where will the duck go in the pond right then we have hen okay hen will go to the coop what about bird in the nest pig pig loves to play with the mud so pig will go to the sty and the last animal is dog we all know dog will go to the kennel children you can do this activity in your notebook write the names of the animals and write their homes also in front of it Let's play a small game. The game is about finding the correct animal name and the name of the game is who am i? Find my name in the crossword and put a circle around it. One example has been given. Let's look at the example children. Banana is what i love eating. I spend my time jumping and leaping. 
we all know we all know this naughty animal isn't it it is monkey and see monkey is circled in the crossword same way we have to solve the remaining riddles let's do this on the walls webs i weave where insects stick and cannot leave come on tell me the answer a spider right third one i remain awake the whole night and go to sleep in broad daylight i remember we have learned about it in our part 2 it is an owl fourth one croak 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 is my sound in water or in land i am found we know this children here we are talking about frog let's see the next one i appear after rainfall have no feet so i crawl hmm let's think about it we see it after the rain and we see it on the ground near the mud sometimes in our bathrooms also this is an earthworm let's see the last one slow and steady is my pace i always win when there is a race come on this is so simple we are talking about tortoise the last riddle is based on the famous story the hare and the tortoise children you have to write all the riddles in your notebook and simply write the answer here are some incomplete pictures of animals complete them and write their names below you can also draw the pictures in your notebook and complete drawing them and then write their names also i want to discuss with you children that like we feel so comfortable so secure in our homes same to the animals a bird feels more comfortable and more free in a nest rather than in a cage an elephant feels happy and comfortable in a jungle instead of staying in a circus so what i am trying to say is even animals like to be free we should not tame them we should not bind them let all the animals free so with this video i end up with the chapter poonam stay out i hope all the three parts are clear to you keep learning keep revising and stay safe thank you children see you in the next video